So I have to admit, when it comes to gaming, I'm really not the biggest fan of motion control. I'm one of those couch controller type of players, if you know what I mean. Uh, but the concept of motion control has always kind of fascinated me as far as how realistic they try to get it. So Nintendo is one of the first to really dip their fingers into this whole motion control thing back in the Wii era of Nintendo. And I have to admit, I am actually a fan of the Wii. And one of my favorite Wii games is Wii Sports. And Wii Sports is all about motion control, which is fine for me because I feel like there was something there that was different with a lot of other games. As far as using motion control just to swipe something in a game, I'm not really the biggest fan of that, but if they try to tackle the realism of it, I'm all for it, like with sports games. You know, they've done this with all types of different video game accessories all the way back from the beginning. Uh, you know, the I think the Odyssey even had a gun. And I mean, how more realistic could you get than that when it comes to a video game? Now with the Wii, for example, they had all these different game accessories that they were coming out with to make the motion control feel, or at least look more realistic. Like with Wii Sports, I remember they came out with, uh, you know, the baseball bat, they had the tennis racket, they had the golf club, all these different accessories, you know, the Mario Kart uh, steering wheel. And now fast forward to the Nintendo Switch, and we have sort of a hybrid of the couch controller gaming as well as the motion control. And because of the fact that Nintendo Switch has motion control with the Joy-Cons, I always wondered if they were ever going to come out with any accessories for it like they did with the Wii. Now if we're talking first party items, I don't think really Nintendo's came out with much, but there are third party companies that have come out with stuff, believe it or not. And as some of you may know, I recently reviewed Mario Golf Super Rush for the Nintendo Switch, and I think somewhere in that review I mentioned that I hadn't really touched the motion control aspect of it yet because well, I just don't really like it. But it did make me wonder how realistic the motion control is in Mario Golf compared to, you know, golfing in Wii Sports or something like that. Now, since we had a golf club on the Wii, you have to have a golf club on the Nintendo Switch to make this look more realistic. So thanks to the company Oivo or Oevo, I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this name, but they came out with Mario Golf Clubs for the Nintendo Switch. So the company, it's O-I-V-O, and it stands for Originality, Ingenuity, Value, Overall. It's kind of a mouthful. So today I wanna to test this out and see how good it is with Mario Golf Super Rush. So how I'm gonna tackle this is sort of a Let's Play style video, if you will. So that way you guys can see firsthand just how good this thing is, or bad maybe? Now I do have to admit, this company sent me this for free to review, but I do want you all to know that just because they sent me this for free does not mean I'm going to kiss their butts and make a perfect review for them, because I know a lot of YouTubers who do that, and that's not cool. So no matter what, if it's good, I'll let you know it's good. If it sucks, I'll let you know it sucks. But either way, regardless of the outcome, thank you to the company, for sending me a free copy to review. That was really nice, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. Now before we review it, let's unbox this thing. All right, here we go, opening it up. We've got one, oh my God, they're, they're so much smaller than I expected, honestly. I thought they were gonna be a bit longer than this. Not that it's a huge deal. There you have it, there's uh, one little golf club for you, and you put the, put the Joy-Con right in here. Cool thing about this though, is it did come with two golf clubs. And this one is red, so it matches the colors of the Joy-Cons, which is pretty cool. Oh, you know what I just noticed? This is gonna suck because I'm left-handed and these are right-handed golf clubs. I wonder if you can actually turn them or switch them around. Man, they picked the wrong person to review this for them. I'm left-handed, dude. Yeah, I don't think you can turn these Oh, maybe you can, there's a screw. All right, so I need a screwdriver so I can actually flip this around. I gotta leave the set for a minute so I can go find something. I'm looking, trying to find a screwdriver here. I just need a little Phillips. So I'm unscrewing this now. Oh, this company's never gonna send me anything again. Well, it's not my fault that they couldn't make a left-handed golf club. Well, maybe this is something you could take note on. Make left-handed golf clubs too. I can't get it out. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I don't think it's actually designed so you're supposed to do this. I'm just doing it anyway. Yep, it looks like it only goes one way. You can't flip it. So which means, unfortunately, I gotta golf right-handed 
Anyway, let's uh, see how these things hold up with Mario Golf Super Rush. Transition. All right, so I got the game all set up and ready to go here. Got the Joy-Con, got the golf club. So you just put it in here, I guess, like this. Just put the controller in there. It doesn't really seem to fit very well. There we go. I think it goes like that, I guess. Could you imagine playing the Switch like this, just holding these two Joy-Cons? All right, reconnecting. God, this is gonna be so weird. So I don't know if I should set it up to where I only use one Joy-Con, because obviously I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna use both, right? There's these little buttons that they put on, you can't really see it, sorry, it's a little dark, but they put buttons on the controllers here, and I gotta play sideways like this. This should work, I hope. I'm just gonna do a regular standard, standard golf, because, I mean, it would be kind of weird to do speed golf or something while holding this, you know? So, just regular standard golf. We're going to try the motion control, obviously. And, yep, just one controller. Hold the Joy-Con vertically to play. Connect one Joy-Con per player. So, this really sucks that i got to play right-handed, though. Because I'm going to have to be like this. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to try to look as realistic as possible. Am I missing something here? I'm pressing OK. And then it makes me reconnect. Oh my god. I'm going to try the red one because, I don't know, hopefully it works. I wasn't pressing the right buttons. I guess we're using the red though. Now unfortunately, I didn't really think about this, but it might be kind of hard for you guys to see me actually swing because I mean there's not a whole lot of room in here yeah I've never I've never tried with just one Joy-Con and I've never tried motion control on this game so I mean I do like that when you move this up and down it's pretty simultaneous like the golf club in the game it, it's pretty much at the exact same time unlike Wii Sports golfing it's like way off I'm hella confused Align club face oh Wait, oh, I see. The club head's not right. So, okay. So the club head should be like this, right? Perfectly like this. Well, here's the thing. I wish I was taller so you can kind of see. Um, so actually, in the game, aligning the club, the club face would be actually like this. So it's got to actually be not completely straight. It's got to be upside down. The club face facing up to make it the club face facing the ball in the game so yeah it's a little off taking my first swing actually I kind of liked how that felt that was actually pretty smooth so my only complaint so far is that the club face actually has to be up for it to be correct in the game. So it's a little, the alignment is actually off. But I mean, it's it's not bad. As far as the actual control goes, you actually hold this button, which on the golf club, it's a lot easier to hit that button because the button is so small on the actual Joy-Con. So since this button's a little bit bigger, it's easier to press. And then you just, Give it a good hit. I didn't hit it hard enough though. Actually, that wasn't too bad though. Give it a good smack. Oh, that was way too hard though. I wasn't paying attention to how close I was. Now, how am I supposed to give it power with this though? Or like backspin or something. So putting, I guess, works the same way. You just hold it down. Hold it down like this. I'll try to show you so you can see a little bit. Just go like that. Wasn't very hard though. So now you can see, should be able to see better. So for putting, putting it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just hold it down, you know, and I just kind of wish this thing was a little bit longer. I don't know though. I don't really have enough room for it to be longer. Probably gonna hit the tree. Mm, yeah, there we go. Beautiful hit. Oh, backspin, backspin. Nope, that's not it. Oh, that's fast forward. Nice little tap just give it a tap give it a toad tap 
Oh, chip it in. So close. Here we go, next hole. <sighs> nice. Nice shot. I'm getting better at this already. It's much better than Wii Sports uh, motion control. I'll say that much because, I mean, Wii Sports, I give it a break because it was the first of its kind to try it. And we all know that the golf in Wii Sports was not very accurate. It was actually really hard to, to play sometimes. Like, it took a while for me to get uh, golf on Wii Sports down. But with this, yeah, it's a lot, a lot easier. There we go. So if you guys are interested in something like this, um, you can get both of these, like you saw, it came with two, on Amazon for like $21.99, I think, is what the price was. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Need some, uh, take some getting used to. Whew. I'm like chopping at it. This is not how you swing a golf club, and I promise I'm not that bad in real life. Oh, smoked it. All right, one more hole, and I think we're good after one more. Gonna smack that one. There we go. Yeah, that was good. That was actually a really good hit. That was a little short. Sometimes it's hard to get the full power out of it. You also have to think I'm left-handed, so it feels so awkward for me holding it this way. I don't even know how well it'll work if I stand left on the left side, but you know what? I'm going to try it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's backwards. <laughs> so I have to stand on this side. There we go. Overall, I don't think it's bad. I was actually pretty impressed with how accurate the overall controls were, I guess. It felt very fluent as far as the motion control, I guess. But my only complaint is that the club head, obviously, instead of being like this, it, you have to hold it like this. So that's a little off. I don't think this is too bad, especially for the price, because you get two of them. So if you're wanting a, to make it look more realistic, I guess, or have fun with it more uh, while playing Mario Golf, you can get these. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know. If you, if you think it's cool, buy them. If not, don't buy them. And with that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.